Welcome to Los Angeles. Lights, camera, action, emphasis on lights in the greater Hollywood area as the USC Trojans set to open another season tonight. There's just something about the nightcap. After a day of wall-to-wall -wall football, it just seems this is when chaos ensues. As we'll see a squad from the Sun Belt, the Georgia Southern Eagles, taking on a team from the Big Ten, the USC Trojans. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. Trojans will kick it away to start us off. And they desperately wanted to attempt to return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. So the Georgia Southern Eagles offense will get the first crack at it here. Here he comes, and obviously a defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback, but boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons, he's got the confidence, he's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right. They better be able to find a way to get pressure on him, because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. On third and long, try to convert through the air. And the ball is intercepted. Really nice play on the pick. Was looking for a little more yardage, but great field position at the 34. You know, after watching that interception, I just wonder if this kid's too amped up today. He was so excited to take the field. He thought this was going to be a game that he could stat it up. But he's going to have to do a better job tonight with his decision-making. That is not how you want to start a game. A great spot to start this drive for the offense. They'll try the right side. Productive four-yard gain there on the ground as he gets it down to the 31. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. From the gun, give on the inside. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, running back gets the give. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Hand off from the shotgun. So close to that end zone, he could almost taste it, but it'll be first and goal for this offense. And the Trojans are moving quickly down the field. Little touch pass to the receiver. Touchdown, Southern Cal! And they made it to the house where they found that six points waiting on them. And what did I start for this offense? The throw game, getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. They'll try to attack one more on their score. And the PAT makes it 7-0. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. Georgia Southern has it back, and here comes the offense again. Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, and the coaches did a good job on the sideline there, just talking to the young quarterback and making sure he's able to turn the page, calm him down, to go out and refocus this drive. Yeah, and some people do that better than others, but you got to show some trust. The ball pops out. Defense falls on the ball. Going to be a turnover. Man, and it was just the impact of the hit that dislodged the football from the ball carrier. He was a heat-seeking missile coming in there, and he knocked that thing loose. Offense getting set for first down. The inside handoff. Blast is way ahead, but not much room. A pickup of one to the 24. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Off 
the play fake. The pressure is on the way, and the pressure has arrived, and down he goes at the 30. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. third play of the drive and they need to take advantage of this field position by making something happen on third and long looking to throw and he needs a bunch feeling some heat oh he just avoided taking a big hit with the slide and on fourth down here comes the field goal unit he'll line it up from the right side a 37 yarder coming up just drives it between the uprights and now the lead is even bigger we check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Fellas, it's a final now in one of the more intriguing games of the week, that notable top 25 clash. Notre Dame took care of business and left little doubt in doing so. Kind of felt like how that 2012 Irish team led by Manti Teo would just take the will of opposing teams. Impressive to watch. Always interesting to see ranked teams collide, and today was no different. The agony and ecstasy of college football, fellas. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. Didn't find much running room on first down. Second and eight from their own 27. Now on the option. And he surges up to the 36-yard line, and they'll move the chain. A first down for the offense. Hand off to the fullback. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. Here on second down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. On the option. And they try the middle of this stout defense and they rise to the challenge. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. Encroachment. Encroachment. Defense. Defense. So the early contact for the defense, and they'll move it up five yards. From the gun, the running back has it. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Went with the running game on first down, now back at it. They'll go to the ground. Tackled after picking up the first down. The Eagles come to the line with a new set of downs. Goes to the option. One of the big storylines coming into this year was the rising temperature of the coach's seat. And the process of cooling things off starts now. All offseason, this coach has said the right things. I'm not worried about it. I'm not focused on it. I'm just worried about our team. But David, let's be real. He's got to win games. There is an expectation at this program to win. And if he doesn't start fast this year, that hot seat's only going to get hot. No, and then the chirping starts, and everybody's going to be talking about his job. The pressure builds, and then, you, and then what happens? Sometimes you lose the locker room, so important to get off to a good start. Try to quiet some of those haters and some of those doubters. He's not going to get there. Stop short on fourth down. Looking for a productive play on first down. Leaves it with the back. Not a lot of daylight. He gets one to the 32. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Really nice pickup there as they have it out to the 44 with the first down. He's up to 49 yards rushing already. You want to talk about establishing the running game. They're doing that in the season opener. They make the stop, and that's how the first quarter will end. As we head to the quarter break, it is USC holding the lead. Really strong performance so far to be able to build a lead here in the first period as we look at the stats. Now to see if they can answer this early blitz here in the second quarter. Kept it on the ground on first down, now back to the line. Dropping back, it's Moss. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. On the move and looking deep. 
And it's incomplete. Good play downfield by the DB. The Trojans will punt it away on fourth down. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Georgia Southern has it back, ready to go to work on offense. Boy, that last drive, they had a chance to put three on the board and passed. This one needs to be productive, David. Yeah, I got no problem with aggressiveness. It was a pretty decent drive. This offense isn't fully clicking yet. They need to get in a little better rhythm, and they need to capitalize on those scoring opportunities. And they've got the weapons to do that too, David. They've got guys that can make plays in space. They need to focus on them and get them the ball this drive. Got behind those pads and picked up three after the 35. Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. And he intercepts it. He'll try to take it back. Touchdown, Trojans. A great return for the touchdown. Any return for a touchdown is a great one to a defense. Look, I know it's only the second quarter, but we're starting to see a pretty significant gap develop between these two teams right now. No doubt. When your defense is scoring, your offense is scoring, good things happening for your ball club. This defense on point, reading their scouting report, making big plays. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Georgia Southern has it back, and here comes the offense again. They've got nothing done so far, and they already find themselves in a three-possession hole, Jesse. Yeah, and as a head coach, you're wondering, what didn't I say? What didn't I do to get my team ready to go? Because we look like we're sleepwalking at this point, Dave. Yeah, nothing went well in the first quarter. You just say refresh. Like, let's try to find a way now. Chip into this lead. Try to make it somewhat manageable when you get to that. They'll run the option. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Georgia Southern brings on the punt team. Pulls it in and looking upfield. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. Good field position here as they start this drive from their 43. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Here comes the offense on second down. The run from the shotgun. Still running at the 40. Just carving up this defense and getting it down to the 24. He's piled up 82 yards rushing already here in the first half. It's a season opener, but he's in midseason four. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good game before the stop is made. Defense a little too jumpy there, and they got into the neutral zone too soon. Encroach, encroach, deep, deep. Contact in the neutral zone leads to that penalty. Good news for the offense. They'll run it out of the shotgun. No, oh, he got loose. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, USC. I think you love starting the year off with some momentum. And that's exactly what this offense is doing. They're firing on all cylinders. Defense doing their job as well. This team getting out the gates to start the season in great fashion. Try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. 
Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Georgia Southern has it back, ready to go to work on offense. Reading the option, it's French. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. They face a pretty tall mountain here, Jesse, down 24, but if they're going to climb it, this is a good time to start. Sense of urgency's got to be big right here. You just get the feeling at this point of the game, David, they've got to score on this drive. Obviously, their defense needs to get stops, but at this point, offensively, they've got to execute much better. they, they got to be super aggressive. Down 20. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the 9. How nice is it as a defense when you can drop seven guys into coverage, only rush four, and still get home? That makes you feel good if you can be coordinated. Georgia Southern brings on the punt team. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. So from his own end zone, the punt is away. Signals for the fair catch and looks it in at the 40. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. He'll start this drive firing. With the catch, it's Hudson. They're ripping off chunks of yard to take, get it to the 33. How nice is it as a quarterback when you don't have to throw post routes to get great stats? You know, I can just throw it quickly to one of the fastest players in the entire nation and let him burn this defense. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. Knocked down at the 29 after a pickup of four. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. The back goes in motion. Scanning the field, it's Moss. Got him downfield. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Well, we knew coming into this game, this defense had some matchups they felt really good about up front, and they won one right there. Getting to the quarterback, creating a negative play, and they're going to need these guys to start winning more of those because they are finding themselves in a hole here early in the game. That offense having to deal with the last thing you want on first down, giving up a sack as they come up to the line on second down. A little too anxious along that offensive false line. Start. That'll be a false start. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Second down coming up. They think they can create space here with a run to the right. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. They run into a bit of trouble here, third and long from the 25, and the last thing they want is to get knocked out of field goal range. Time running out, and he goes down at the 34. This defense needed something to go right. Man, they're down big already in the first half. Get to the quarterback, get him on the ground. This could start some momentum going back the other direction. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. The field goal is no good. And this will stay a three-score game at 24. Georgia Southern has it back, and here comes the offense again. They find themselves in a pretty deep hole here, but maybe a chance to grab a little momentum and regroup at halftime. Yeah, a big chance. Like, this is, this is an opportunity. This is the biggest opportunity in front of them in the game right now. You've got to get some points on the board. You've got to create something positive, Jesse. There hasn't been a whole lot to be positive about in the first half. If I'm playing quarterback, I'm locating my go-to guy at receiver. Who can I count on one-on-one -on -one to go and make me a play? Maybe even one-on-two. Who can go up, catch the ball, get us some yards, and get us some points? He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Georgia Southern in a hurry. Back to throw. It's French. Quickly complete. And it is well blocked as they pick up enough for a first down. No huddle here for the offense. 
They want to just keep throwing it. Grabs it in the middle. And oh, did they know that one was coming. They'll knock him down in the backfield. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Fires to the right. It's complete. He gets it to the 31-yard line. A big play for this offense. To the air on first down. Fires to the tight end. And that corner came in hot despite knowing that he was giving up some size. He wants to throw here on second down. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. Ball spotted at the 27. They're facing a third and long to try to keep their hopes of a touchdown alive. Pressure is on the way, and the pressure has arrived, and down he goes at the 30. Timeout called here by the defense. It's the first one they've used this half. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. And they get to him and sack the quarterback, and they'll stop the drive on down. He had nowhere to go with the football. You could tell, surveying the field, somebody's got to get open to go make a play. Man, throw it up. Run it. Do something. You can't take a sack on fourth down. You've got to give somebody an opportunity to make a play for it. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, David, it can be demoralizing. Yeah, and it can definitely be frustrating. And I think it leads you to say, maybe I go for it more. But Jesse, I think this offense just needs to put another drive together and just finish strong. Yeah, and, and be a little bit less predictable, too, especially as they get closer and closer down to the end zone. He's looking to throw it. Unloads to the wideout. A strike downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. After that huge player right back at him on first and ten from inside the 15. He wants to throw. They wanted to get that ball to the outside quickly, and it just about went the other way. It'll be second down. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Going for six. And he was looking to the end zone, and they couldn't make the connection. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. On third down, he drops the throw. Pass is incomplete, and we dwindle down to seven seconds. Their hope for a touchdown gone by the boards, but they'll try to put up three before going to the locker room. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And that lead grows even bigger. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. And the returner will be knocked down. And with time running out here in the first half, this offense will choose to take a knee. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin and our halftime update. Man, we've been looking forward to this one all week. A fun start to things in L.A. And it'd be easy to say these two offenses are glad we've hit halftime based on their respective performances. It would also be accurate. Turnovers and sacks have told the story so far. And you've got to believe the play calling has been the issue, right? Time to shred those game plans and just get back to basics. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at the L.A. Coliseum. Second half all teed up, and Georgia Southern will start it with the kickoff. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. Keeping it on the ground to open the second half. Defense in the right spot. They stop him after a gain of two to the 28. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Brings up second down. He'll try the left side. 
He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Somebody needs to make a play here. It's third and long from the 26. Looking downfield, it's Moss. Throws to the wideout. Oh, picked off. Taking it the other way. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Eagles. And this defense coming up with points of their own. What an interception return. How often times can you say that there is a safety who is the most dangerous guy on the field with the ball in his hands? Did you see that guy and his ability in the open field once he picked it off? There was nobody on offense even coming close to getting that guy down. What an athlete. And now they'll try to get the two-point conversion, guys. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. He's got it in the end zone for the two as they draw a little closer. How about that for a momentum swing? The defense gets the pick six, offense comes right back on the field, and they get the two-point conversion. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Give to the running back. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. How about that alert play from the defense to scoop it up? Touchdown, Eagles! The defense with the scoop and score. That ball was squirting around on the field, finally corralled by the defense, and they turn it into six. And it's so hard defensively. Do I jump on it and make sure I get it, or do I scoop it up and try to make the big play? He chose to scoop it up, and it pays off, makes the big play, gets the touchdown. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Pocket starts to collapse. It's complete to the left. Crosses the goal line for the two-point conversion, and it's an 11-point game. They're just about to kick it off after that scoop and score six. Here's the return from inside his tent. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Pass on the way. Oh, it's picked off. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. And on the opening drive of the second half, you've made adjustments, but sometimes you underestimate the fact that the defense is ready for your adjustments. And they've made their own adjustments as well, and they're allowed to sit there in the locker room and think and wonder about how you're going to attack them coming out of the tunnel. Great job being ready to go at the start of the second half by the defense. Georgia Southern has it back, ready to go to work on offense. Free snap motion in the backfield. Getting some heat. And the quarterback bought some time, but not enough. Down he goes with the sack. And that is a huge play for the defense. Offense has it in your red zone. You're trying to knock them out of field goal range. The only way you do that is by creating negative plays, and they get the sack. That's the last thing you want as an offense, a negative play, a sack on first down. Fullback's got it. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. This crowd knows they have to bring it in big moments, and one of those has arrived. Makes the grab on the left. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. On fourth down, trying to find his man. They got him. It's a sack, and what a stop for this defense to turn it over on down. Well, that play never had a chance on fourth down. They're trying to catch the defense off guard, throwing for it, but no protection. The quarterback didn't have an opportunity to step up and get rid of that football. Give the defense credit, man. Tremendous aggression there on fourth. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. 
And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Big chunk play to start this drive. Now they'll really try to take it to this defense. Found enough room to get it into enemy territory. They're down at the 43-yard line. They've come out with answers on this possession, and now another first down. On the move at the 30. Nothing but green ahead. And they get him out of bounds after an explosive run, just chewing up yardage along the way. Those outside runs, if they can get the edge, like they do, great job on the right guard, right tackle, getting the edge. And now what does this do? This makes cornerbacks come up and tackle. Safeties come up and tackle. As opposed to linebackers and big defensive players, you get your guy out in space where he can use his speed and his physicality against guys that usually cover and don't come up and make tackles. Power forward. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? They'll give it to the back. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Trojans. Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. With the extra point, they're on top by 18. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great college football matchup. West Virginia is ahead right now, but that's not exactly Major Harris out there. This game is a long way from being over. They're up by seven over Washington State. On the option. We'll circle back if anything changes in this exciting college football matchup. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. He'll ride his man on the option. And a really short game before he gets a whole bunch of company from the defense. And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down or else they are really in trouble. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Georgia Southern brings on the punt team. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. How about that blocking up front in that running game last time as they just walked it down for a touchdown, David? And the big boys up front doing their job. Opening holes, the backs making plays, everything on the ground on that first drive work. And we know that this is the identity this coaching staff wants for this team, right? They want to be the most physical team on the field. Let's see if they can keep it up. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. Trying to pick it up on the ground. Still on his feet at the 45. Gets it all the way down to the 39-yard line. It'll be a first down. And the Trojans come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They'll leave it with him. Using that running game to bludge and forward. He's got four down to the 35. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. Out of the gun, the running back has it. Productive four-yard gain there on the ground as he gets it down to the 31. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? Try to get it to the edge. The Trojans pick up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Tip ball, put it up for grabs, and I thought he had it, but somehow it slithered through his fingers. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop.
As we head to the quarter break, it is USC holding the lead. This has been utter domination through three quarters, and the stats will back that up. Just about ready to go in the fourth, and we'll see if any drama can be mustered. Do they have another third down conversion in the bag? Already two for two on this drive. It's third and two. Gets it out fast. And they do a really good job. Not as easy as it looks to get those blocks. He picks up the first down. From the red zone, looking for a space. He'll take a shot. And good coverage and better hands by the defender to knock it down in the end zone. This defense just can't get off the field. The offense unstoppable. Tough running this deep in the red zone. He's got four down to the 11. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. He'll be stopped just short of the end zone, but they'll have it first and goal. New center downs right on the doorstep for this offense. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Can the D deny them on second and goal? Tries again to get it in. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Now it's third and goal. Marches ahead. Touchdown, Southern Cal. And the punishment has been extended. Well, this offense said they wanted to start the year all gas and no breaks, and that's exactly what this game has shown. From the very opening whistle, this offense has been in sync. They've been explosive. Defense has had no answer for them. This unit is going to give teams problems because of their playmaking ability all year long. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. 41, Georgia Southern, 16. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Georgia Southern has it back, and here comes the offense again. Back to throw. It's French. He's got it. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. Big play to start this drive. Now they'll snap it from the 39. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. He makes the catch. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. From the 47-yard line on first and 10. He's going to pass. Quarterback floating away from pressure. And he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. This quarterback is thinking to himself, I need to get an NIL deal at some restaurant so I can take my offensive line out and feed them more. Because I don't think they like me very much right now. I've been sacked six times in this game. It's time to get that new NIL deal paycheck. Big first down sack for the defense. Brings up second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the big fella. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. A third and long coming up here. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. They're trying to get to it. And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. Goodness gracious. This is a master class, a clinic on how to get to the quarterback. The seventh sack of the game. Are you kidding me? That's a season for some teams. They've lived in the backfield. Down by multiple possessions. They can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He made the catch pass and wait just a second. The official's going to take a second look at this one. And they take another look at the play, but the officials on the field were right, and the play will stand. From the shotgun now, here's an inside gift. 
he was able to reach into his bag of tricks and use it to pick up a few extra yards. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. Pressure coming. Strong pass rush gets to the quarterback, and they get him at the 46. And listen, the quarterback drops back, and he's going through his progressions. We see zone, but just couldn't do anything about it. This defensive line, this pressure, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. Now facing a third and long. Running back goes in motion. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. And the Trojans send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And he will boom that punt out of bounds. No chance for a return. Let's see where the officials spot it. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. This is just so demoralizing. You want to talk about taking a game over. That's what this defense is doing right now. They are just winning in the trenches. They are easily the more athletic and more physical unit up front, dominating this whole line. This play will be a big indication of whether this drive goes anywhere on second and long from the 11. To throw, it's French. Get it out on the screen. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass. It just never developed. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Got a man. It's Arnold. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Georgia Southern brings on the punt team. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. Line gets set, first down. The handoff keep working on that clock. At the 45 on its way! And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. And first down. After taking another look just to confirm everything, the officials on the field got it right. Play will stand. Right back to the well. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. Now the quarterback changing the original play call. Shows him the stiff arm. And they're able to force him out of bounds after a short pickup. And that last run leaves him with a third down. Will they keep it on the ground? They'll try to bully their way for the first. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The Trojans will try to pin them back with the punt. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. And they won't be able to down it. It goes into the end zone for a touchback. Georgia Southern has it back, ready to go to work on offense. This offense has pretty much been stuck in the mud the entire game. It's been a frustrating performance, Jesse. Yeah, and listen, you can't be hanging your head just yet. This game's not over. This coaching staff is still evaluating their players. So if you're on the field right now, you've got to finish this game. You've got to try to prove something to them. Well, the game is over, to be clear. They're not coming back. But I hear what you're saying. Keep fighting. Keep showing your coaches it matters. And maybe find something positive here late that you can build on for the weeks to come. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. Looking to move it through the air. Fires to the middle. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. They're bringing heat. He's going to take off. And he has a solid gain on the play before sliding. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. Lining up, trying to convert this third and short from the 40. Caught near the sticks. It's Arnold. Good pick up there. They'll move the chains, and they're set up at the 41. Georgia Southern about to snap it on another first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Coming after it. And the defense will corral the quarterback, and down he goes at 
midfield. The defense puts the exclamation point on the day. They have had a wonderful day, man. Doing everything great. Just You can tell they were dialed into what was going on. And now just throw another sack in the equation. Hitting the quarterback, being disruptive. They've been all over the field. Negative play on first down. That's what a defense always wants. Looking for a man. It's French. Trying to get to him. And this defense goes back to back sack, Jack. Offense will use a timeout. 19 seconds left in the game. And whatever they did on first and second down, don't do that anymore. Third and very long coming up. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. Georgia Southern brings on the punt team. They'll look to pin them deep. And the punt hits at the 8 and goes into the end zone for the touchback. Running out the clock, a mere formality between them and a victory as we have victory formation coming. This is what an elite team does. They know they're better. They go out. They take the figurative sledgehammer and hit them right between the eyes. And they just look good at every phase of the game. If I'm on the coaching staff, I don't know what you could ask for your guys to do better. I think the challenge now for this team is going out next week and trying to play with the same type of intensity and the same level of execution. Well, Jesse, it's easy to look good on the field when you look that good in your unit. Like, when you look that good coming off the bus, those dudes are good. This is a great team, and they proved it. Just domination from start to finish. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis.